Let's talk about the labor rates and setting up defaults for labor in the version 15 WinBid Pro program. The labor in this new software is quite a bit different than it was in version 14. We've tried to give you a lot of different uh, ways to configure it, more flexibility, more features for different values and prices and things. So you'll see uh, the difference here. Let's, let's get into labor defaults by clicking on this link in the menu tree and this will bring up our little labor defaults menu. It's just two different categories, the frame labor on the top and glazing labor on the bottom. So glazing labor will do a separate video for, uh, and that works a lot like it did in the version 14 program if you're used to that, the glazing labor. So here we'll click on the frame and miscellaneous hours and rates, and it opens up our window with three tabs and a bunch of fields in here. And what you want to notice first is the different types of frames are all represented. So we can click this navigation tool and skip through each type of frame. So each type of frame has its own labor defaults, its own labor values uh, or rates. You can set different rates for different types of frames. Not that you need to do that often, but it's available. Um, and then even the entrances can be configured differently for each, uh, for each different uh, frame type. So let's start with screw spline. Um, so notice that you have four different labor rates that you can apply. One for fabrication, one for installation, even miscellaneous, and then glazing labor. So these rates uh, are your cost. And when you go to the markup report and actually mark up your job, you can actually mark up labor a certain percentage. So this is your cost you're figuring now. And uh, you have the ability to set all these values and like I say for each different frame type. So let's take for example the single door with transom. Now installation labor is in one section, fabrication here, and then miscellaneous labor is in the other. And the installation labor time for doors, let's say the old software uh, with a transom it would say it said five hours to install a single door with a transom and so we need to convert that to minutes if we want it to be the same as the old software was so um, that's 300 minutes for a single door with a transom and without a transom we had three hours in the old program so that's 180 minutes so now I'm just taking the values that were in the old program if those were close to you what you really want to do is take an elevation and we can't see the whole thing, but it's four panels, single uh, right hinge door, left handed, with a row of horizontals. You want to take an elevation that you know well and you know exactly how long it would take your guys to, to build and fabricate and install. So you take that elevation and you go through your defaults and you set up your defaults based on a simple elevation that you know for each different type of frame that you know how exactly you would install it and that's going to give you a good starting point for your defaults. So then you can go in and change at a job level or elevation level you can adjust your labor because um, every job is a little different anyway. So so okay we'll keep going with the pair of doors. Now pair of doors with a transom uh, was seven hours in the version 14 program so that would be 420 minutes and with no transom it was four and a half and that would be uh, 270 minutes. So we're going to say 270 minutes for a pair of doors with no transom. And that's just a straight conversion from the other program. Now, if that already included um, setup time, you know, adjusting hardware, uh, installing hardware, all that, then you're fine. If not, then you would want to include those things right here. So we would say door hardware time, you know, if I need to install the locks and handles and things like that, I need another 60 minutes, let's say. And this all depends on how you guys do it, uh, you know, in your shop. And then the door adjust time, you know, every, every door needs to be adjusted and trued and everything. So let's say we need at least 45 minutes for that. You know, if it normally takes an hour and a half, then you'd put in 90 minutes. But uh, whatever it normally takes for your your people to do that task is what you want to do. Now there's a couple th items in here that are actually per uh, like calculated like variable. So per joint means 
it knows it's a variable thing because the elevation size and, and design determines the number of joints. So here we see on our little stat window down here, this elevation that I have on the screen is 22 joints. So all it's going to do, 10 minutes might be a little high, let's say we need 5 minutes. It's going to take 22 joints times 5 minutes, figure out our um, number of hours, and then multiply that by our hourly rate for installation, which is $40 here. And that's how it's coming up with our um, basic install charge for per joint. Now, if that doesn't include uh, certain things like um, you know measuring and let's say anchoring to the wall, anchoring the sills and the pans and things like that, you need to include that time in the per elevation time. So let's say we need another 60 minutes to anchor uh, to the structure. If it's 90 minutes, 120, put that and that's your added time for the basic um, you know, time required for the entire elevation. So you can adjust your, your labor easily by adjusting these different values. And then you've got perimeter caulking. Curtain wall pressure plate is by the foot. If we point to that, it'll tell us. So since we're doing screw spine, we're going to leave that alone. And then perimeter caulking, it's going to take that by the foot. So it's how many minutes per foot does it take you to caulk. And we could just say one minute or uh, you know, half a minute, we could say 0.5. But basically, you'd look at this sample elevation we have and say, okay, for this type of elevation, I know it would take my guys an hour. And if it's 41 perimeter feet, this little stat window shows us this right here, then it's only going to be 41 minutes if I say one minute. So we're going to actually change that. Let's change it to something like 1.2. Uh, Oops, 1.2. And that way, um, we'll get a little closer to our 60 minute time. So that's the kind of thing you're going to want to do to, to, to fine tune it. So now here in fabrication, um, fabrication labor for a door, if you're buying your doors, your entrances, uh, in packages, maybe you just need a little bit of time uh, to cut the frame and maybe drill a couple holes for hardware or something like that. If, if you need that, then you can obviously reduce the times that are required for fabrication. If you're actually fabbing your own door, then these times are going to need to reflect that uh, the labor that goes into that. Um, so this might be just minimal. It could even be the same for with and without a transom and maybe you need 45 minutes for these. So again, you're determining based on what you buy wh how much time is required for an entrance to fab it. And fabbing hard hardware time, um, let's say that didn't include the hardware, it just included cutting uh, stops and jams or you know the door jams or whatever, prepping heads, um, and the hardware time needs to be extra, you can add that too. So the time per cut, this is your basic cutting time for all the different joints. And like I say, the, the program gives you the joints here, which basically tells you how many cuts there are. Um, and then it figures how much time per cut. So if you need, say, two minutes per cut, just to measure, cut, stack, you know, if it's three minutes, you're going to vary that. So this is where you're adjusting it, again, to come out with the right time for this type of elevation. And then the per joint time, if you are drilling or jigging or doing anything that's uh, notching, anything that's required for the joints, depending on the type of system you have here, uh, you would add your time for that. And again, the per elevation time is just something you throw in for the entire elevation to fabricate. So it could be setup of the saw, could be measuring, you know, anything like that. It could be 60 minutes for that. And then anything down here under miscellaneous install labor is going to be a total time applied to the entire elevation and that time is multiplied by the miscellaneous rate so keep that in mind so it's not your standard glazing vinyl it's not glass cutting it's assuming your glass is already cut uh, it's, it's not your perimeter caulking because that's already figured so any added stuff in addition to what you're already doing is where you'd add this time for the uh, entire elevation and the very last thing is this middle tab where per job this is a dollar amount that can be applied per job and you can actually add to uh, this list just by typing in a new thing and adding a dollar amount to the bottom. So anything that needs to apply to every job for this type of framing system um, you would just add it in here and by default it's going to be that dollar amount will be added to that job. So that's pretty much it for the labor. Uh, don't forget to watch the glazing labor video when that's ready.